Hello, hello, hello. You are tuning into another episode of The Wonderkin Show. Today's second topic Deshaun Jackson speaks out on the Raven. Look, <laughs> I'm starting to. I'm starting to see things differently nowadays than I used to before. And what I mean by that is seeing things differently is I'm seeing a lot of people flip, change up what they used to say. And what I mean by that is Deshaun Jackson came out and I'm going to read what he put. He says, get Lamar Jackson, Devontae Adams, ASAP, Raven. And a lot of Ravens, even hearing this, was like, no, we have Zay, OBJ, Bay. And me, I'm like, look, if he's available, get it. <clears throat> I gave EDC a very good grade this offseason. I did. And <clears throat> a solid B plus for this entire offseason. You re-signed your big money guy in in Lamar Jackson. You went out and got Zay Flowers. You went out and got OBJ. And I always said I wanted a little more. Now, the receiver that I wanted to pair with those two was Mike Evans. And everybody saw or or is seeing exactly why I wanted Mike Evans. Because Mike Evans looks amazing even with uh, Baker Mayfield throwing him the ball. And y'all know that I, I respect Baker and stuff like that, but as much as I respect Baker, Baker's not Lamar. So now we're, we're starting to see these, te- these, these, these weapons starting to shine. 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 And I'll bring up one of them because I know a lot of you remember. I remember when Tyree Kill was up for trade or whatever. And I, I did, man, I remember I made a, a skit and everything, a song begging EDC, get Tyreek Hill here. He is the most dynamic player in the league. He flips the field. He's a one-stop shot for big plays. He's a stockier, faster Deshaun Jackson in his prime. And everybody told me Nitro is never going to happen. We don't, why would we spend that much on a receiver? You see that he's worth every penny that he is earning. Now you have a former receiver that was here for a very short stint, Deshaun Jackson, saying, look, Ravens, go and get Devontae Adams. And I'm not against that. Look, (laughs) one thing I will say, I want guys to get open on the first read. As much of them as we can get is as much of them as I want. I'm not against, like, some Raven fans don't want that much talent because they don't want to be seen. They always want to be the underdog. That's not the way I look at things. Talent equals easier wins. A great offensive coach with great offensive weapons can make the game extremely, extremely easy. If you need any, you know what I'm saying, twisting and turning to that notion, Go look at the 49ers. Go look at the uh the Rams uh before all the injuries. Go look at Miami. 70 points. So do I want Devontae Adams? You darn right I do. Now I heard some Raven fans talking about we need offensive line! We need that too. Hey! But make no mistake about it. And I and I keep trying to tell people this, you know what I'm saying? Like For as good as Zay is, and for as good as OBJ is, and as good as we hope Bateman is, none of those guys is Devontae Adams. None of them. None of them. None of those guys are Tyreek Hill. None of them. None of them. So I'm I'm of the mindset of saying you get the best that you can get so you can compete at the highest level possible. Nobody. Listen, the Ravens included. Nobody wants to see the Miami Dolphins right now. Nobody. The Ravens could have went in there, sweet talk Tyreek, and said, look, we had a chance to play with Lamar Jackson. What are, 
Like, you got to be able to sell players and be like, look, I know. We're not used to the team throwing the ball across the yard. But the amount of open looks you're going to get because you're playing with the Lamar, and I know you know because you saw him already, up close and personal. Could you imagine how many one-on-ones you're going to get? How many open receptions just so you could just just run that you're going to get? And we'll pay you. We'll pay you. I think he would have came. See, this is the only thing I don't like, you know what I'm saying? Because everyone say we always have to be, we always have to money, 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 money. But look, these other teams are somehow making it work. Now, is it a guarantee that Miami's going to win a Super Bowl? No, that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is they've given themselves a darn good chance to win one because of the talent that they've acquired. And look, and I'll keep saying this. When I was one of the prohibitive people that said, look, I don't want to hear no more excuses for the O-line. Because I watched, uh, because if because if you really want to do something in the NFL, you could do it. I watched Kansas City rebuild. They let go of two all uh, uh, all pro left tackle and a pro bowler at the other end, and and uh, uh, and and guess what? Redid the entire line in one off season. That's all it took. So when I see. All the problems that Lamar's going through with this team. The line's not blocking. Um, you know what I mean? And guys dropping the ball. It makes you want to say, bro, why is it so hard for the Ravens, but other teams make it look so easy? And like I said, I want I want to preface this. It is this is not a shot at EDC. This is not. I, I thought he did a, a I thought he did a really good job this offseason. There now are we still holes? The problem with this offseason is let me let me tell you what the biggest problem with this offseason is. He did good this offseason, but this offseason is making up for all the other bad offseasons. All of the other bad drafts. All of the other bad player development. All of the other bad acquisition of thus players. You know what I mean? So this offseason, I think he did very well. I, I, I gave him kudos. I said, bro, you're cooking. But the problem is he's starting behind the, the, the start line because of all of the poor decisions from previous years. You know what I mean? So that's why, you know, I, I try to get through to people's heads, especially Raven fans. My God. It's like, oh, we can't get this. He got to, got to be balanced and balanced and da 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 And I'm like, bro, other teams have balanced defense, offense, whatever it else it is, and they've somehow made it work. Why can't we? The best time to have done all that stuff is when Lamar was on his rookie contract. We wasted that. We squandered it. So these, these are the mistakes that I'm talking about that now are biting us in our behind. Because now he's doing good, but he's working behind the eight ball because of the bad choices that were in the past. So, you know, I'm, I, look, if, if Devontae Adams is available, I say get him. Let's, 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 let's get it. Because, look, Devontae said he wants to win. He wants to win. If we put a winning team up and we win the Super Bowl, he's going to want to stay here. Devontae Adams and Zay sound beautiful. And we're not even mentioning Mark Andrews. We're not even mentioning Mark Andrews. So these are the things I'm talking about. And even, I'll even go another step further. Jonathan Taylor. Why not? All our running backs are hurt. JK's out for the year. Like, bro, we got to get the best talent. It can't always be a patch-up job and say, Lamar, well, you know, we tried, bro. Go save us, bro. That's what it is every season. It is what it is every season. We got to start going for the best guys. So what? Oh, we have two. Girls. So what? Make it three. They're like, oh, but well, we're going to need an offensive lineman. Show me the offensive lineman that you're going to get right now. Please. At least if you have more weapons, you can get the ball out quicker and bigger plays can be made because the talent level has been raised by the outside threats. That's another way of looking at it.
Sometimes you don't have to run through a wall or break through the wall. Sometimes you just have to figure out how to get over it or around it. You don't always have to run straight through it and bash your face against it. There's more than one way to skin a cat. There's a lot of ways to crack an egg. And the Ravens need to start figuring that out. Because I'm going to be real with y'all. Like, I like our players. Do not get this misconstrued. I like our players a lot. But now that the now that this um year has started out, you are seeing the level of talent that these other guys have. Look at even the guy I was talking about with Tank Dell. Look how good Tank Dell looks. Hmm? Remember, I had listen, I had people in the chat talking about some 1,100 yards. You're crazy, Nitro. He's on pace for 1,400. He's averaging 83 yards a game. He's already had 70. Every game he's gotten better. He went from, what was it, against us, like 20 or 30 yards. Then he went up to 78, 79 yards, then to 145 yards. And he's probably going to get 100 yards next because they're realizing he, that, that he's their best weapon. I called that one too, right? The Ravens need to start putting together as much talent as possible. That's just what you're supposed to do. Put together as much talent as possible and then see what happens. But what do you guys think? Do you think the Ravens need to acquire more talent regardless uh, on the offensive? That means if it's a great uh, wide receiver, get him. If it's a great lineman, get him. Do you think so? Or do you think that we should just roll the dice with the injured players and say, hey, if we make it, we make it. If we don't, we don't. Let me know down in the comment section, please. Nasty. And that's an episode of The Wonder Kid. Thank you for watching. And now we get down. We have fun and we laugh. But everything we talk about rooted in what? Facts and truth. Please do remember, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, leave a comment. You know I love the comments. And before we go any further, I want to make sure that I give a big shout out to Tori Nargo! For the $20 donation. Thank you, my brother. Thank you. A chung a chung chung. A chung a chung chung. Nah, for real. That helps out so much. And it will be going to equipment. Um, I'm in the in the, the work to trying to purchase um, some lapel mics. And all of the funds are helping out so that we can acquire that stuff for better interviews. So when we're on. You know what I'm saying? Uh, at games or something like that, I can interview players and get you guys even better content. So thank you so much. It does not, I never want that stuff to ever be overlooked. I know it's hard earned money and you guys are entrusting it with me. So thank you so much. I love you guys. Thank you. But like I said, uh, if you have not already done so, check out the Wonder Kid Show's Patreon. Yes, three tiers of content goodness. Give it a check. Let me know what you think. It's in the description of every video that we do. Um, and also bottom of the screen, like how Nardo did, that's for the cash app. If you want to donate help with, uh, equipment and stuff like that, that's how you do it. It's located it also in the description of every video that we do. And the name of it is money sign. The wonder can show super, super easy. Once again, this is the wonder can show the show is not just signing off. And as always, you know, my slogan, peace. And I am out of here. Mm. Yerp.